Hi guys, Jordan from PMP Campers. Just going to start your hand of a video on your Bilingo uh, Chapel conversion. So start under the bonnet. Uh, on the left hand side, got the engine coolant, washer fluid. Um, this will be for your air conditioning, this little pipe down here. Top up your engine oil from this cap on the top. And then you check your engine oil from this orange dipstick just here. The actual bonnet release is over to the right hand side a little bit from the middle when you go to open that up. And the stay comes down from the actual bonnet itself, so it comes down from the top. Your engine battery is under here, so at the front it's both positive. Um, so that's where you need to get to that if you ever needed to. Um, and then your brake fluid is here at the top, attached to the servo down the back. Um, which actually I think is on the right hand side on these ones. Um, you got a few fuses and relays underneath this little box down here. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's, uh, that's about it. Obviously your radi radiator sits at the front here and you've also got your condenser for the um, air conditioning, which is over there on the left hand side. Um, so yeah, that's that, that's that under the bonnet. Um, on the passenger side, I've got loads to show you, to be honest, um, but uh, so your sort of fan pointer there. Bonnet release is down here on the passenger side. Um, your original Citroen uh, sort of book down there in the door card. Centre console down here, cup holders uh, and all the normal bits and pieces. Window adjustments are on here in these uh, Bilingos, so on, on the dash there. And obviously you've got your uh, main glove box in there. This near side is where you get access to your uh, roof box as well, where the key is on, is on the, uh, uh, the keys itself. So you basically just follow the diagram there, unlock it round to the right, and then that'll open up. Inside the van, you've basically just got some cupboards um, down here. And as long as you've got your um, tops up in the position where they are now, you'll be able to use your um, bits and pieces in there. I will show you how to make that work as well. So the pump needs to be popped into the actual tank itself, but I'll just show you that in a minute. So we have sent you some pictures as well, the bed laid out, um, how it needs to be laid out. So obviously I can't really show you it um, on the video. Otherwise I wouldn't be able to show you anything else and I've only got one hand. So <laughs> it'd be pretty much impossible, but we've sent you pictures of how the bed needs to be laid out and how to do that. Um, so at the back here, behind the back door, we've got fire extinguisher and part of the, that's the towing eye in there. So you need to screw that into the front uh, if you ever needed to be towed. So that's in there. Gas isolator valve for your um, hob at the top. That's in there. And then nothing in there basically. All right, so that's just like the underneath of your hob. This big right hand one, you've got a couple of important bits. Um, so on the right hand side here is your RCD. So if you had a hookup cable plugged in um, and you found that your plug sockets weren't working anymore, then you basically just come to here and trip. You'll find that your trip will be down in that position and it needs to be up. Um, so that's that. Porta potty is in here. So if you want to use that, that's where it sort of belongs. And then you've got your actual gas down here. So you've got a, what is it, 907 um, camping gas. So it's got a, a strap around it, so it's nice and secure. Dropout hole at the bottom. And to turn it on, you go anti-clockwise. So round to the, I don't know if you can see, round to the left, like that. And to turn it off is clockwise, round to the right. And make sure that you turn that off before you start driving, obviously. Every time. Close that up. And then on the left hand side here, this is your water that I was talking about. So this is your fresh water tank. Um, and so basically what you need to do is undo this, fill it up with water, and then literally just pop this inside there. Uh, and then you'll be able to draw out the water. Your leisure battery is behind there, uh, along with a couple of fuses down the back as well. So if I just pop that out of the way, that's that kind of covered. That's it. 
your hookup point is just here behind this sliding door. So this is where you need to hook up the van. So that's where you need to, uh, actually we need to replace that. It's broken. Uh, but this is where your hookup goes in. So if you're on a campsite or at home, um, then that'll give you access to your sort of, you know, plug sockets around the van um, and bits and pieces like that. I'll leave that open. Uh, on the driver's side, so there's a five speed manual gearbox. Reverse, it's quite easy, down to the right, like that for reverse. Um, got lots of nice extras and buttons all over the place on this particular van. So you've got your cruise control underneath here on the left hand side, lights and indicators on the left. This on the right hand side is your sort of controller for your for your radio um, on this stock down here. Washers and wipers on the right hand side. Air conditioning is this middle button here and then all the rest of these down here are basically just your um, kind of uh, fan setting sort of you know bits and pieces so you've got fan speed fan setting and then your temperature setting up here is all the radio you've got auxiliary and usb in here so they'll both be uh, routed to the stereo little glove box up here above the steering wheel traction control uh, electric adjusting mirrors so you've got them choose left hand, right hand, and then use it as a little joystick. Headlight adjusting, so that's your dip, basically. Um, and then your horn is on the center of the steering wheel. Again, you can lock and unlock the cab from inside as well, which is really nice, uh, nice thing to have on motorhomes. Uh, but yeah, I think that's about it. So, let me just get background. On your side, passenger side. Uh, so what we've we got, you've got Eva Spatcher um, heating. So you basically just press that on essentially and that's your diesel heating starting up. Um, really, really easy. Uh, we've tested all that working and it does work as it should. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else to show you. So, to be honest, I'm not sure there is. Um, yeah, so you've got, let me just lean over and have a look. So, you will need a, a, a clicker or like a, a lighter or something to light these burners up once you've got the gas on, obviously, um, because you've literally just got the, the sort of knobs to turn them on and off. You have got a thermocouple on both of these, so if the flame got blown out, it wouldn't keep pumping out loads of excess gas, it would turn itself off. Uh, and they would have been checked as part of the hab check. Um, but yeah, so I think that's about all I can show you, to be honest. If I just jump out of the van. So, yeah, I've shown you under the bonnet, shown you the hookup on the outside, all the bits and pieces behind the back door, Eva Spatcher heating over there uh, above the offside sliding door. Um, you basically just turn that on and then just choose your temperature. It's really, really easy. Um, and that that works via the diesel tank. As long as you've got about a quarter of a tank of diesel in the van, uh, that was that you know that should turn itself on. Um, and when it does turn itself on, it can be a little bit noisy at the start, uh, but don't worry about that. And you will hear a ticking noise when that's running as well. That's perfectly normal. It's just the diesel pumping through the actual system. So yeah, so I think I've shown you everything I can. Um, if you have any questions or think I've missed anything out, then let us know. Um, but otherwise, I look forward to seeing you soon to collect your van. Thanks very much.